In this video, you're gonna learn three things that are gonna massively speed up your editing process, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, I put up a video just a little bit ago with my friend Justin Brown and you guys absolutely loved it. So I asked him to come on again and share three things with you that will help you speed up your editing process. Justin, take it away. Thanks very much for having me on the channel, Nick. I'm gonna share my top three tips for speeding up video editing. Because video editing is the one part of the video creation process that most people hate. And it's also a place where a lot of people waste a heap of time. So the first tip that I've got is to think about your editing when you're filming. So if you can streamline your filming so that it is more concise and that you're not gonna have a heap of additional footage or that at least it's structured in a way that's gonna make you easier to edit, then obviously your editing is going to be much faster and easier. So one key way that you can do this is to chunk down your videos into either sentences, dot points, paragraphs, or sections. So you're sectioning down your video into small chunks and only move on to the next chunk, paragraph, dot point, whatever it is, when you're happy with the last take. So make sure that your last take or your last attempt is the one that you want to use. So this is gonna make your editing much faster because you won't be cobbling together the start of one, the end of another, or you might've said something you liked in the middle somewhere. If you remove that altogether from your editing and you know that you've just got one clear, concise take or section for each section in your video, then that alone is gonna speed up the editing process. But my tip number two takes this one step further. If you are actually doing that and you're only moving on to the next take, once you're happy with the last take, then all of your best takes are going to be the last ones that you've done, right? So in your editing then, all you need to do is instead of editing from start to finish, you'll edit from finish to start or edit backwards. So this way, when you're looking at your timeline, don't edit left to right, edit right to left. When you're scrubbing backwards through your footage, you'll hit the best take first every time. So you'll know that that's the best take. You'll then keep scrubbing through your footage until you find the previous take, the next one, and then you'll know that that is the best one as well. So it's the fastest way to cut down your footage is to edit backwards if the last take is always the best one. So using those first two tips is gonna save you a huge amount of time in your video editing. But tip number three is also gonna help you speed up that video editing process, and that's by focusing on the content first. So my tip here is to not get bogged down with all of the tempting elements of video editing. So what most people like to do is they'll bring in all their footage and start color correcting and start adding effects and all these things to make the videos look nice. But I'm saying don't do any of that stuff first. Focus on your content. Your first thing that you do should be going through and editing backwards, removing all the bad takes and refining that huge amount of footage, potentially, down to something small and manageable. And then once you're happy with how it works and the overall flow of the video and that all the content is there, then you can start polishing that and adding effects and adding your B-roll or your overlay footage and titles and polishing your video that way. If you just jump straight in and start applying effects and color corrections and making your footage look good, you may find that you waste a heap of time and that there's actually something wrong with your video. Maybe a take didn't come out how you'd like, or there was a car or a plane coming over and ruined that take, then you may be wasting your time by doing all these colors and effects and everything up front where the video may not be usable. So the first priority should be cutting down your content. But the other thing you need to be aware of too is if you are applying all of your color correction and your effects up front before you've cut down your content, is that you're gonna be putting your computer under a lot of load to be processing those effects or those color corrections throughout your editing process, which is gonna slow down your computer massively. So every little cut or every time you swipe or move through your timeline, your computer then has to process all of those effects and graphics and things that you've put onto your video layers, slowing down the overall process. So the most streamlined way, cut your content down first, get that how you'd like it, and then worry about all your effects and everything towards the end. So those are my top three tips to help you speed up your video editing. So they were to start your editing in your filming by only moving on to the next section when you're happy with the last take. So make the last take the best take. 
Number two was to edit your footage backwards so that you're hitting that best take first and that you're able to cut down a heap of footage really, really quick by editing backwards. And number three was to save all your effects and your color correction till towards the end of your video after you've cut down your footage to close to what the end video is going to be. So focus on trimming down your content first and applying all your effects and color corrections and things afterwards. Thanks very much, Nick. Back to you. Justin, thank you so much for coming on again and sharing your knowledge with us. I really appreciate it. If you have not checked out Justin's channel yet, it is Primal Video. I'll put a card to it right up here. Make sure that you go check out Justin's channel and you subscribe because if you're a content creator, he's doing a lot of gear reviews and things like that that are really gonna help you understand what the best things are to get when you're trying to make improvements on your channel. So make sure that you head over to Primal Video right now and check out Justin. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.